You're tuned into the first newscast devoted to the Highland Lakes area. Local team coverage on Tribune Headline News. Bringing you the stories you care about now. Hi everyone, you've tuned us in on Northland Channel 15. This is the Picayune TV. In today's headlines, cracks in the ground. Not good for any kind of activities, not to mention football. We tell you about a local team who has to find another place to play due to drought conditions. That story in our local sports cast, plus the latest on a proposed swimming pool with water park features in Marble Falls. But first, they're on the ballot, but it could be an uphill battle for supporters of an incorporation proposal for the community of Kingsland. Voters have a chance November 8th to decide if Kingsland becomes an incorporated city. Lano County Commissioners approved the measure recently after approving a petition carrying signatures in favor of it. Burnett County residents in voting precincts 8 and 9 can also vote on November 8th on incorporation since part of Kingsland is in that county as well. The U.S. Census Bureau reported Kingsland has about 6,000 residents. Pros of incorporation include additional fire services and potential improvements to infrastructure. Those who oppose it are critical of additional taxes. In our next headline, Marble Falls Parks and Recreation officials want to attract more people to the city by building a new swimming pool featuring water park style features. The existing pool at Lakeside Park underwent more than $30,000 in renovations at the start of the summer. It cost about $75,000 a year to operate. Parks and Recreation has proposed spending $3 million on constructing a new pool at a different location, perhaps Johnson Park. Features would include a lazy river and other aquatic attractions. The idea is about eight years in the making. Officials propose paying for it with a combination of bond issues, grants, sales tax, and or hotel motel occupancy tax money. We're being teased by possible rain chances this weekend. I'll have details later in weather. Coach Larry Bergman takes a hands-on approach to coaching, and he takes that same approach to handling your car. So join Coach's team and give your car, truck, or boat the MVP treatment at Coach Wash, where our customers call the plays. We're back. There's been some talk about possible thunderstorms. Jared Fields has the scoop. Hello everyone, Connie, what we do know about the weather is that it'll be hot. Now expected highs just under 100, maybe warm, but it's not near as bad as what we've had. Oh, we might have a slight chance of showers later in the weekend, but for now all we've got to look forward to is the mercury staying in the double digits. Here's the rest of your Highland Lakes forecast for Northland 15 and the Picayune TV. Thursday, sunny, hot with a high near 99, we'll see if that actually stays under 100. Otherwise, we've got calm winds out of the east, southeast between 10 and 15 miles an hour, gusting as high as 20. Thursday night, mostly clear with a low around 76. East winds again, but this time between just 5 and 10 miles an hour. Friday, mostly sunny, a high again near 99. Calm winds northeast between 5 and 10. And then Friday night, mostly clear with a low around 76. East winds 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming calm. Now, it doesn't look like a very good chance for showers over the weekend. At least it might be a bit cooler though. We'll have a complete look at the forecast for you in tomorrow's weather. For Northland 15 and the Picayune TV, I'm Jared Fields. Thank you, Jared. Now here's Jennifer Fierro with what's coming up in sports. We're about to make football fans in the Highland Lakes real happy. That's because we're going to check in on two teams. We're going to give you all those details coming up in sports. We are established. We are qualified. We are certified. We are knowledgeable. We are dependable. We are Ken's Heating and Air. Our people make the difference. Because experience matters. For home, auto, business, health, and life, we are here for you. When Galloway experts make top providers compete for your business, you win. The Galloway Insurance Team, since 1935. Burnett, Horseshoe Bay, and Marble Falls. We're going to rename today's segment 
Football Wednesday, and that's because we have a lot of football news going on. We're going to start with the most pressing news, and that comes from Faith Academy. And that's because administrators over there talked to administrators at Marble Falls Independent School District about moving their home games to Pony Stadium, which is on the Marble Falls Middle School campus. The result? Both sides agreed to do that for the home opener this Friday night against Kingwood Northeast. We did get a chance to talk to Flames head coach Russ Roberts about the decision. Here's what he had to say. Not, not going to be in the hibachi. Uh, the, the, the hibachi has burned itself completely up. The creek's dry, the, the grass is dead, the cracks are opening, and uh, we are negotiating right now. I talked to Cord Warner for a couple hours yesterday about, the, about us, the possibility of us moving into the junior high for uh, much of our schedule, home schedule this year. We have yet to check in with the Burnett Bulldogs, but that's going to change right now. We did get a chance to talk to head coach Doyle Walker about the Bulldogs' 35-19 loss to Giddings last week. And even though the Bulldogs made numerous mistakes, the coach says that his team has learned a lot from that experience. He also says that they're looking forward to going on the road on Friday night when they go to Fredericksburg to face the Billies. Here are the rest of his thoughts. You know, first thing I told the kids in workout this week to start the week off with was, hey, we did the same thing last year. We re reeled off eight straight, and I'm looking for more than eight this year. So, uh, you know, our expectations are there, and, and it's up to the kids to, to uh, put it together and, and mature and grow up from the loss that we had last week and, and, and move on with it. That's it for sports. I'm Jennifer Fierro. Connie, back to you. Jennifer, thanks so much. For Janine Olson, advocating for elderly residents isn't just a nine to five occupation. She describes it as her passion, and now the director and founder of Older Adult Rural Services based in Marble Falls needs the public's help. The program was created 10 years ago to ensure older citizens had someone to look out for them. Many of them live alone and don't have family nearby. Whether it's offering rides or delivering Christmas presents, Volunteers play an important role in making ORS work. If you would like to assist the worthy cause, call the number on your screen or go by the ORS office at 1600 Mustang Drive. Those were your headlines. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out this segment again or other Picayune TV shows, you can go to our YouTube page. For the Picayune TV, I'm Connie Swinney.